Welcome to the ClickBankStore.org Quick Start video. I'm going to assume you have already seen or heard the sales pitch on this, and all you want to see here is how easy it is to get things working. So in the next four minutes, I'm going to walk you through a completely new setup, from creating an account, to entering the addresses of your sales pitch websites, to making the correct settings in ClickBank to get this whole thing working. And when we're done, we'll have a fully working system that gives us individual hoplinks for each individual product that we sell on ClickBank, all being routed to one ClickBank payment account. So before we get started, let me just show you what I have now and what many of you will have prior to setting up ClickBankStore.org. So on ClickBank, I sell two products. One is an ebook called Understanding Business and Management. The other is a Go Plan Goals and Objectives training course for managers. Now, since I'm only allowed one hop link in my ClickBank account, I have to set up a catalog page and send people here. So now, if I want people to buy the Understanding Business and Management ebook, I have to send them to this site. Then they have to then click on that course and get brought to the Understanding Business and Management sales page. If I want them to sell the other course, similarly they would have to click on the Home Study course where they would be taken to the Home Study course training page. So that's not really the best way to get good conversion rates. So what we want to do is set up clickbankstore.org so that each one of these products can have its own hop link that takes you directly to that sales page. So the first thing you need to do is go to clickbankstore.org and create a new account. So what we would do is hit the register now button and create an account. So I am going to create a, an account here. I will enter a new username, password, my clickbank name, and an email address. We'll go ahead and create that account. Then we get taken back and we just sign in using the password and username that we just set up. And here is the clickbankstore.org main product manager page. And what you'll see here is two main tables. One up the top where you enter all of your individual URL pages. And the bottom is a default website address, which we'll get to in a minute. So as you remember, I had two products that I sell. So I'm going to call the first one product one. So I'll enter 1 in the ID number. This ID can be anything, but it does have to be a unique number. And I'm going to call this uh, the business ebook. And then I will punch in the sales website page for that and click Add. And I'll put in product number 2, so we'll give that a unique ID. And I'll call, call that Go Plan Training Course. And we'll put in the URL for that. Hit Add. And there we go. Now, if we want to make sure that we've typed them in right, you'll see that these two links are now active. So click on them. And I see that I get taken right to my Understanding Business and Management ebook sales training uh, sales letter. So that's good. So I know I've typed that URL incorrectly. Now, what's the default website address for? Well, for this default website address, if somebody puts in a hop link that's broken but still goes to your ClickBank account name, then we may want to redirect that traffic back to our catalog page since we don't know specifically what it is that they're after. So what we can do here is just hit Edit, punch in our page, and press OK. And again, we can check that. And you'll see that what I've typed in here is just the catalog page I had initially. So if there's any broken links or traffic, this is then where I want to send people. So now we have got, uh, we've created a new account, and we have set up all of our sales pitch websites. Now all that's left to do is go to clickbank.com and adjust our account settings there. So what we do is we go in, and I'm just going to log into my account. And then we just go to the account settings. And then 
to my site. And we'll see that there's a hop link target URL. So if we go back to clickbankstore.org, down at the bottom of this page, you will see that affiliate link page. Set your hop link in ClickBank to this address. So we're just going to copy that address, go back to our ClickBank store, and we'll paste that in as our hop link, hit save changes, and we now have a completely set up system. We created our account, we entered our websites, we edited our ClickBank settings. Simple as that.